To create a point at a selected bearing and distance, I'm going to use the CAD point toolbar. And it is the seventh one across bearing and distance. You select your start position. I'm going to pick the start of this string and accept. From here, 12D wants to know the bearing from where you want the line. And it is giving us a dynamic option as I scroll around the screen in the status bar. But if I wish to type it in, I can start typing the bearing. And I'm going to make it 60 degrees, 25 minutes, and 41 seconds. Hit enter, and that bearing is now locked in. 12D now wants to know the distance for this point along the bearing. And it is again a dynamic one, so I can pick on the screen, or if I know the distance, I can type it in. I'm going to make it 65.654, enter. And my point has been created. To check that, I'm going to go to the Utilities, Measure, Bearing and Distance option. And I can pick from my start point, accept, to my newly created point, accept, and I can see my bearing of 60 degrees, 25 minutes and 41 seconds, and a distance of 65.654, and it is a single point.